Hey guys, it's Becca and I'm back with a thrifting haul. I have several things that I did purchase when we were in Greenville this year. We went about a couple weeks ago down to visit some friends and I shared a bunch of pictures on Instagram. So if you're curious about what lipstick I'm wearing, I am wearing one from Dollar Tree. I don't have the name of it, but the brand is Lavia, Lavia, and it is a matte lip liquid matte lipstick. I got it at Dollar Tree. They had, it's not very matte though. <laughs> but yeah, I did get this and I don't really wear it too much. So I thought I would try it today and I really like it. So yeah, I have a lot of just home decor and just fun stuff that I like to buy when I'm on vacation. Um, I did go to Lush and the Christmas tree shop thrift stores. I got some really great bargains and I'm going to split this haul into two parts. So this will be the first part, just home decor. And then the second part is going to be all of the clothes that I have purchased recently. I've been losing weight and have been going down a couple sizes. So the, the sizes that I purchased are one size down from where I am right now. So I'm going to do a haul and it'll be labeled my cruise haul because all the things I bought, I'm going to wear on our cruise coming up <laughs> in a couple weeks. So anyway, check that video out. It'll go up after this video. So let's get right into the haul. So I was at Salvation Army the other week and I found this beautiful sign. It is from Hobby Lobby and um, actually no, it's from Ross. Sorry, the price is right inside. It was $7.99 at Ross and um, I paid $4 for this. And it says, bless the food before us, family beside us, and the love between us, amen. So I have this hanging up in my kitchen. I went and grabbed it because I've been it's been up there for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this was a cute sign and um, yeah, to get it for four bucks is not bad. So I was at a Goodwill in Greenville and I found this huge lamp. It's so nice. It doesn't actually work, <laughs> but it I think it will work. We just have to fix the little um, turny knob thing. And then if it doesn't work, at least I have a pretty, um, I might just put some little lights in here and put it by the window, but the lampshade is definitely worth $4. It's a white lampshade and it's in perfect condition. So I'm hoping I can get it to work. My husband's gonna look at it for me. It's a really nice one. And the brand is Safi. Oh, let me just turn it around so you can see it. This is the brand. If anyone knows where you can buy these, please let me know, but I feel like it's a really nice lamp. And the cord is like, is like a fabric cord. So if you guys have any ideas of how I can get this to work, even though it may not light, like it, ideas of what to put in here, I would appreciate it. But I only paid four bucks <laughs> for a lamp that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I did go to Target on our trip. And I still haven't opened this, but it's a little sign that says home. So it's just one of these little signs and I'm gonna hang it up somewhere in my house. Um, I'm not sure where, probably in my bedroom um, over the bed, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I wanted to get this little sign. It's like particle board. It's particle board and it looks like little shingles and I thought that was really cute. I will be doing an, um, an updated decor video soon because I do have a lot of spring decor out, like flowers. I got these flowers from Walmart, two bunches of flowers. They were on clearance, got those in Greenville, and they're really pretty. They're really pretty. I just kind of arranged them in this vase, which I also got from Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill and me have been um, very active lately. Um, I have like the glass. Uh, little beads in here and then this is these are just Walmart flowers there's two bunches in here and I just one bunch I kept as a whole bunch and then the rest of them I broke apart and just placed and I think it's so pretty so yeah I think I paid I think I paid five dollars for the flowers and two dollars for the yeah, base not bad <laughs> so if you see this teapot back here I've had this for a, quite a while I, I like teapots I have about 20 yeah, I've tried to get rid of some, but it's hard. <laughs> anyway, this teapot is one of my favorite ones. I just think it's so pretty. And on the trip, when we went to a thrift store, I found the matching sugar bowl for 50 cents. I was so excited to find it. And I found the creamer 
for 50 cents. So now I have a complete set and I think it's just beautiful. It's so, so, I think just very Victorian looking and I don't know, shabby chic, I don't know. But anyway, I'm excited about that. All right, so at the Christmas tree shop, I found a couple things I wanted to share with you. And if you haven't been to the Christmas tree shop, it is not really a Christmas store. It's just a kind of like a department store without clothes. And it just has a bunch of furniture, things for your house and beauty and just random stuff for the kitchen. So if you ever see one, a huge Christmas tree shop store, definitely stop. But my friend actually gave this to me because she had bought an extra one and it's a non-stick oven liner. And I don't know about you, but I always have stuff dripping in the oven. So I decided after I cleaned it that I would get a liner. So she actually gave me one of her liners and you can get them at the Christmas tree shop for $5.99. So I got that and I was all about the tea. I like to pick up tea at the Christmas tree shop. They have a whole different selection there. And this is the Bigelow in toasted coconut. So I can't wait to try that. And they had some clearance. This was only $1.49. Um, this is pumpkin spice from Twinings and it's a chai pumpkin spice tea. So that'll be delicious for the fall. Um, candles are really fun to get there and very inexpensive. These are $2.99 for six votives and um, it smells like lemon verbena. Yeah, it smells really nice. I love that scent. So I'm gonna get some around my house now. And um, yeah, I really like that scent. I just thought green was really pretty for spring. And so I always pick up stuff like this when I go to the Christmas tree shop. They always have really nice stuff. Okay, so this was one of the best things that I found on my trip and I was really excited to get it. Now we were in the South, we were in South Carolina and then we zipped over to Georgia to see one of my friends. So, um, but I found this at the Christmas tree shop. It says, mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. They did have a cutting board that said the same thing, but we have so many cutting boards. I did not need to pick that up. <laughs> um, so I did just get that. Okay. Just a couple more things. We were at, um, the Habitat for Humanity. We, had, we went to like five different ones on the way up and down because we're looking for some little uh, tables for our living room. And I found this, we found these little lights. It's a max light and it is just um, a desk lamp and it was only $1.99 at, at the Habitat Restore. So my husband got two of them. He thought when he's working out in the garage or in the office, he could have a little extra light. So yeah. Got a couple Dollar Tree things. My husband picked this out. I don't want to talk about it. Taco about it. <laughs> Just a little magnet for our fridge. I don't want to taco about it. <laughs> um, and then I picked up two more washi. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more, but these were cute. So I got this one, which is kind of a spring fallish one. I think it's just kind of a, just a nice nature washi. I think it's cute. And then this one's a black kind of, um, I don't know what that is, like star shape. I'm not really sure. At the Habitat for Humanity, I also picked up this cookbook. It's Southern Living and it's from the year I was born, 1982. And I thought it was going to be kind of neat to have something from the year I was born. So I did pick this up and I'm interested to see what kind of recipes there are. And I was actually flipping through it. A lot of these recipes in here have like frozen vegetables like it'll say a pack of frozen vegetables so i was noticing that they were using a lot of frozen vegetables and like frozen things so i guess in 1982 that was like a new thing that you could buy things um that were already frozen and put them in your in your ingredients now i feel like we're going back to fresh ingredients and so rest most recipes don't have a frozen pack of onion or a frozen pack of this or that you know so anyway i thought this was kind of neat and i wanted to get it for my cookbook collection so that's what I got. Okay, I only have two more things. I oh, I went to Lush and I when I go to Lush, I usually pick up the same kind of things. I pick up the, um, I think it's the peach, very peach body bar that you rub on your skin and it's like, it, it makes it really nice, um, like a lotion. And then this is my favorite bath bomb that I like to get from there. Oh, it just smells so good. It's the Avo Bath. It doesn't smell like avocados, but it just smells so delicious. So I got that. I'm so predictable when I go there because I, I do have sensitive skin, so I can't buy a whole bunch there, but I did buy that. And then my husband picked up this Legend of Zorro, 
or Zorro. Um, we have the first one, but we don't have the second one, so we thought we would pick it up and we watch it again. Yeah, so that was my haul from Greenville slash March, and I have we're gonna take a little break from Goodwill for now because I have been buying a lot of things. And um, especially for our, our cruise, we're going on a cruise coming up in, this, in the late spring and I cannot wait to show you some of the clothes that I found. And um, today I weighed myself and I'm down 33 pounds, so I'm gonna keep plugging away. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. So I hope you are um, having a wonderful day. Definitely let me know in the comments what deal you liked the best and let me know what you're finding in your Goodwills. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.